I was holding Dylan in my arms while breastfeeding him when Tommy physically attacked me with complete disregard for my safety and, more importantly, for the safety of our children. Tommy kicked me violently in the back several times and in the buttocks. He was completely out of control. No one could have been prepared enough to hear the tragic story that Pamela Anderson was about to reveal to the world, not just about her rocky relationships, but her childhood. The eyes of the iconic blonde bombshell that Baywatch fans fell in love with had bared witness to countless traumas that she had kept hidden from the world. From battling a life-threatening disease to having the IRS take away her home. Over the years, it seems that she wanted nothing more than for a man to love her, but what she got instead was abuse and torment from the men that she gave her heart and soul to. The question remains, will she ever find her one true love? Remember to subscribe to Rumor Juice for more stories like this one and hit the notification bell so you can be the first to know about breaking news in the world of Hollywood. Anderson has walked down the aisle a total of five times, six if you count the alleged 12-day marriage to Hollywood bad boy John Peters, but we'll get into more about that later. I believe in love. I don't like to be divorced. I don't like to be, I mean, I love to be married. I don't like, the marriage part is difficult, but I love the weddings. Clearly. I think, yeah, maybe once should have been enough for me. Unfortunately, she has a history of dating men with a particularly abusive side, and the relationships often left her bruised and battered. Sadly, the abuse didn't start with her first marriage to Tommy Lee, but began way back when Pamela was at the tender age of six. Her father was an alcoholic who often didn't come home, and in order to financially support the family, her mother had to take on two waitressing jobs. Young Pamela was left alone with her female babysitter while her mother was out working. Her parents had to put their trust in the babysitter to make sure that Pamela was looked after and taken care of. But shockingly, the babysitter took advantage of her position of power and abused the young girl in the way no child should ever have to endure. Until the age of 10, Anderson was sexually abused by her babysitter, a woman she had expected to look after her. She was assaulted again at the age of 12 by the brother of her then boyfriend. Just a few years later, Anderson confessed she was assaulted yet again by a group of seven men. One of them was 25 years old. Needless to say, I had a hard time trusting humans. I just wanted off this earth. In 1989, Anderson was discovered in a crowd at a football game, and she felt like her luck was finally beginning to change. Shortly after her stint as a spokesperson for a beer company, the young model made the cover of Playboy magazine, and the rest is history. Unfortunately, while her career seemed to be smooth sailing, her romantic relationships were not. The cover model met Motley Crue drummer Tommy Lee at a New Year's Eve party, and the pair fell hard and fast for one another. They got married just 96 hours after their first date at a private beach ceremony in 1995. Just a few months later, the couple's now infamous sex tape that was created the night of their honeymoon was stolen from their home by construction workers and leaked online. The tape spread like wildfire, and Pamela was horrified. There was no escaping the tabloids and shame that came with the most intimate moments of her marriage being plastered all over the internet and watched by millions. Did you make a mint off of that? I made not one dollar. Are you, well, I no, thought you guys it was made a deal. Property. No, we made a deal to stop the shenanigans and stop all the, like I was seven months pregnant with Dylan and I was thinking it was affecting the pregnancy, the stress, and I no. said, I'm not going to court anymore, I'm not being deposed anymore by these horny, weird lawyer men. The tape might not have been the first thing that shook their relationship, however. After the birth of their son, Brandon, a year later, Anderson filed for divorce. Somehow, the couple was able to work things out. But after their second son, Dylan, the model filed for divorce once again, and this time it was final. What followed was a very messy public split along with her physical abuse allegations against Tommy. He was arrested and sent to prison for six months. It's the hardest thing in the world because you're in love with that person, but you can't be in a place that's dangerous and you can't have your kids see this kind of behavior and it's the hardest thing in the world to do. You just have to do it. So there's the cycle of abuse too when you go back into the same relationship. While Pamela and Tommy were battling things out in court, the model admitted that she was dealing with even more shattering news in her life after being diagnosed with hepatitis C, a serious liver disease that can result in several health problems and even death. Anderson revealed she had contracted the virus from sharing a tattoo needle with Lee, who she claimed never once told her he was sick. Pamela was told she would only have another 10 to 15 years to live. Scared for her life, she paid $100,000 to enter an experimental treatment program, and thankfully, it paid off. Twelve weeks later, 
Pamela was cured and free to live healthily for the rest of her life. Just when she didn't think things could get any worse, the IRS took possession of her home, stating that she owed almost half a million dollars in unpaid taxes. I'm not trying to avoid any tax obligation. Certain events occurred outside of my control which caused this temporary but embarrassing situation. All of my tax obligations will be resolved in the very near future. It seemed like bad luck followed Pamela everywhere she went, and her relationships were no exception. She entered another high-profile relationship with rock star Kid Rock. The couple began dating in 2001, got engaged a year later, and then soon called it quits. However, the couple ended up getting back together in 2006 and married in France shortly after. Later, in the same year, Pamela sadly revealed she had a miscarriage and filed for divorce after only four months of marriage. There's no way anyone could have understood how she was feeling at the time. Perhaps these men only saw her for what she looked like and not who she really was on the inside. Despite being an international sex symbol and household name, she was not the typical blonde bimbo the media was making her out to be. She used her fame to draw attention to animal rights and became the poster woman for PETA. Anderson called out numerous companies for their unethical testing on animals and started campaigns to ban the use of fur in fashion. But I think compassion is in fashion, it's sexy, and you know, I think we have to do something to save the world, so we all have to do our part. When we're buying things, buy stuff that aren't hurting animals, cutting corners, not for, animals aren't here for entertainment. She was making a name for herself as an animal rights activist and stood up for what she believed in. However, some have thought that perhaps she should have stood up for herself just as passionately as she stood up for the rights of animals. Over the next few years, Pamela married Rick Solomon twice. Solomon is perhaps best known as the man who released the scandalous Paris Hilton tape. In 2019, Anderson's love life came crashing down around her once more when she learned that her boyfriend of over two years, French soccer star Adel Rami, had never broken up with his previous girlfriend and mother of his children while they were together. The pair had been together for roughly two years, and she had packed her bags to go live with him in France for most of their relationship. After finding out the shocking news, Pamela confronted Rommel's girlfriend and admitted that she too had no idea that he had been living a double life. I'm devastated to find out in the last few days that he was living a double life. He lied to all. How is it possible to control two women's hearts and minds like this? I'm sure there were others. The model then revealed that not only had Rami been unfaithful to her, he had also physically and emotionally abused her throughout their relationship. She described him as a monster. He would hurt me in ways you couldn't see, grabbing me roughly, intimidating, holding me with his physical strength, not letting me leave, taking keys from me in car, not letting me move. Pamela was left feeling betrayed and in an unimaginable amount of heartache. Perhaps that's why she sought solace in the arms of an old lover, John Peters. Remember we mentioned there was an alleged 12-day marriage? Well, that's where John comes in. While reports claim that the couple had a private wedding ceremony at the beginning of 2020, the model has been adamant that there was no marriage at all to begin with, just a short fling. It was just kind of a little moment, a moment that came and went, but there was no wedding, there was no marriage, there was no anything. It's like it never even happened. That sounds bizarre, but that's it. Although it seems John has a completely different story to tell. He claims that Pam married him simply so that he could pay off all the debts she had accumulated over the years. He confessed, I dropped everything for Pam. She had almost $200,000 in bills and no way to pay it, so I paid it, and this is the thanks I get. There's no fool like an old fool. Since both Pam and John are telling their own versions of what happened, we'll leave it for you to decide what the truth is when it comes to their 12-day marriage. Towards the end of 2020, Anderson made her way down the aisle once again, but this time she was saying I do to one of her bodyguards, Dan Hayhurst. Why did you fall for Pamela? <laughs> that gorgeous being. <laughs> I couldn't resist. She couldn't resist me. <laughs> He's the kind of guy I would have met if I didn't go around the world and get crazy. It's nice to be with the real man who can actually change a light bulb. He's useful. It's a new thing. Friends have said that Pamela is beaming with love for her new husband, and they've been enjoying their time together in their home, happy and focused on each other. We hope that the model has finally found her true love, and perhaps as her former bodyguard and new husband, Dan will not only protect her, but guard her heart too.